What's up? My name is TechNobo here for Server Pro and welcome back to our Valheim tutorial series. In this series, I'll show you how to set up and run a successful Valheim server. This video covers connecting to your own Valheim server or getting your friends to join it as well using Server Pro's VPS service. So yes, we did previously make a video on this topic, but since then there is another slightly easier way to connect to your favorite servers or even your own server if it's not showing up in the in-game server list. Let's quickly run through the new method. Simply fire up Valheim, click start, then choose a character, start once again, and when you get to the screen over here, click the join game button at the very top. It should then very quickly populate with servers. If you don't see anything, make sure that community is checked at the very bottom. Then you should simply be able to search for your own server. However, if you don't see it on this list, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. All that you have to do is click the join IP button over here and you'll get a prompt for an IP colon port. What do we enter here? Well, let's go ahead and get an IP and port from our server pro dashboard where we're currently hosting a Valheim server. So simply heading across to my VPS dashboard on my server pro panel, you'll see the host name and the IP address of our VPS server that the Valheim server is currently running on. If you want to learn how to create a new VPS or you're not entirely sure what one is, click the I in the top right hand corner of this video or check the description down below. That'll take you to a video on how to get started. On top of that, if you don't know how to set up your own Valheim server, you'll find a link in the description below as well as another link in the I in the top right hand corner of this video now. I can use either technotest.mcpro.io or the IP address over here to connect to my Valheim server. Though, after either of these, I do need to add a colon followed by a port number. How do we get said port number? Well, simply head across to the Valheim service at the very top and then have a look at the server port on the right hand side. We'll be using this one over here to connect to our server. So I'll go ahead and enter technotest.mcpro.io colon and then enter the port that we saw earlier, which in my case was 2456. I'll then click connect and we should be joining our Valheim server. After being prompted for the password, I'll enter it and then we should start loading into our server. The only issue with this method is that we simply need to remember the IP address and port every time we want to connect to our friend's server. Once you click log out and you want to play the game again, you'll have to enter the IP address and port in one more time. So the other way that we can do this is by closing out of Valheim and heading over to Steam. In the very top left, click View and then simply click Servers. Then when this window opens up, at the very top, click Favorites and then in the bottom right, click Add a Server. When we see this window over here, enter the hostname, colon the port, or the IP address, colon the port once again. The only difference is that in here, instead of entering 2456, the default server port, we have to enter 2457, the connection port. After clicking Find Games at this address, you'll be able to tell that your server is running and responding. After clicking Add this game to our favorites and refreshing the favorites page, you'll see your server appearing on this list over here. You can join it at any time by reopening the servers menu through View Servers and double clicking on the server's name here under the favorites tab. You'll be asked to enter a password here, but it doesn't really matter what you enter here. I usually just hit any key and hit enter. When the game starts up and you get past the title, you'll immediately be asked to pick a character and after clicking start, you'll be asked for the password. In here, you need to enter the correct password for the server that you're connecting to, and after hitting enter, you'll load in and be dropped into the world where you left off. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!